Let's look at the multiplication property of inequality. This property states that for all numbers, a, b, and c, with c not equaling zero, then we have the following. If c is greater than zero, so c is a positive number, and a is greater than b, then a times c is greater than b times c. In other words, if we multiply by c on the left-hand side of our inequality, we must also multiply by c on the right-hand side of our inequality in order to preserve the inequality. Same thing goes for less than. If we start out with a being less than b, then a times c will be less than b times c. Again, we multiply by c on both the left and the right-hand sides of our inequality in order to preserve the inequality. But what about when c is a negative number? In other words, what if c is less than zero? Well, if c is less than zero and a is greater than b, then a times c will be less than b times c. So, if we multiply by c on both the left and right-hand sides of our inequality, in order to preserve the inequality, we must flip over our inequality symbol when c is negative. Let's look at the other one. When a is less than b. When a is less than b and c is a negative number, then a times c will be greater than b times c. Again, when we multiply by c on both the left and right-hand sides, we must flip over our inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality. So the multiplication property of inequality shows that if c is a positive number, then when we multiply by c on both the left and right-hand sides of our inequality, we do not need to flip over the inequality symbol to preserve the inequality. But if c is a negative number, so c is less than zero, when we multiply by c on the left and right-hand sides, we must flip over our inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality.